Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode in the Intellec 8 series. Previously I recorded a video about a uh, very simple simulation of uh, an Intellec 8 system uh, which is based on uh, the Intel uh, 8008 CPU. Uh, I also did a series of two videos dedicated to simulating this CPU. So if you haven't watched those, uh, you should probably watch the three videos. And uh, today I'm going to speak about the Intellect 8 front panel simulation. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, it is used to interact with uh, the Intellect 8 uh, system that is uh, being simulated. Uh, it uh, appears when you start the simulation, it's a window that contains a picture of the Intellect 8 uh, front panel. It's a real photo. So if you have a better resolution photo you can uh, replace it or you can share it in the comments and, uh, I will try to replace it myself in the simulation. Uh, we have here uh, status indicators, uh, we have address, uh, data and uh, register flag data. Uh, these uh, uh, LEDs, these uh, lights, uh, are being toggled during the simulation. Uh, here we have uh, switches that may be used to select a certain address in memory or to enter data. Uh, here we have uh, additional switches uh, that are being used for uh, memory access, for example. Uh, you can also load an address uh, and you can see the data in the address. Uh, you can uh, look at the next address and so on, or previous address. Um, and uh, uh, you have here uh, the possibility to reset the system which is something that uh, needs to be done in order to start the uh, simulation. Uh, like uh, in a real world system, the CPU starts in the halt state, you see this here. So in order to actually start running the code, uh, you need to press reset. Uh, according to the um, uh, user manual, the reset button causes the processor to begin execution of program at memory location 0 by resetting program counter to 0. So uh, this is what's uh, being done uh, in the simulation as well. So uh, you need to press uh, the reset button in order to start the simulation. But memory location 0, as you may have seen, uh, the simulation preloaded uh, three bytes, which correspond to a jump to the monitor row. Uh, if you change the simulation and uh, do not load uh, these three bytes, uh, then you need to enter them by hand by using the front panel switches. And once you press the start button, uh, the monitor gets called and uh, in this particular simulation, uh, you see the result on the teletype. So, let's take a look at the Java code uh, used to implement the front panel. Uh, it's called Intellect Front Panel. It's uh, similar to the front panels for uh, Intellect 4 and Intellect 4 Mod 40. I already did uh, videos about these. So, uh, it may help if you take a look at uh, these two videos as well. So, um, what happens here? Everything uh, is based on uh, images. Uh, there is an image for the front panel. Uh, as I said, these are uh, actually pictures of uh, the real equipment. Uh, we have here uh, images for uh, switches and images for the LEDs. Also, the front panel must be connected uh, to other simulation components like uh, memory bus, IO bus, control bus, uh, the CPU and 
and so on. So everything is declared here. Uh, there is also a switch class which uh, uh, tracks the status of uh, different switches. This is actually reused also for the LEDs. Um, there is a thread which uh, is called when you uh, press a switch that uh, then uh, reverts to the original position so it does not remain pressed so when you click on it uh, this thread will introduce a 200 milliseconds delay and then will uh, reset uh, the switch to its original position. Uh, the drawing, well, the uh, clicking is handled here in this uh, mouse listener. Uh, it uh, simply checks uh, all the switches to see which one was pressed by checking the mouse position. Uh, if it detects a switch being pressed, it will invoke this method, uh, which allows uh, changing uh, various states uh, of the front panel. Uh, I'm not going into details about uh, each one uh, of these uh, uh, implementations, but uh, they are pretty straightforward. Uh, the switch values are being read and uh, based on the values uh, internal uh, variables are being set. The front window is um, uh, drawn obviously in the paint method. Uh, again there is nothing fancy. Uh, we use the front panel image as a background and uh, on top of this uh, we have uh, different uh, other images for the switches for the LEDs uh, which are being drawn. Uh, of course depending on the state uh, associated with uh, from panel uh, status variables. Uh, we have the configure method which uh, loads the resources and uh, sets uh, initial state of the components. And finally, we have the step method, which is called for every uh, step of the simulation. Uh, what happens here, uh, it uh, checks if uh, the reset button was pressed, in which case uh, it uh, will set the interrupt signal. It will also set a byte associated with the interrupt signal. Uh, if you remember from the Intel 8008 uh, CPU simulation, uh, when uh, the interrupt signal is activated, the CPU will uh, expect an instruction to be present on the data bus. It will be read and executed. And this instruction is coming from uh, additional uh, logic external to the CPU and it's uh, not uh, present in memory usually. Uh, so in this case I'm um, just using an uh, instruction with a single byte with hex code 5 which uh, actually represents a jump to memory location 0. Uh, from the reset description in the user manual is not exactly clear what uh, the reset button actually does, but I'm guessing it's uh, something similar because without generating an interrupt it's not possible to uh, wake the CPU from uh, the halt state. Uh, the manual also mentioned that actually uh, CPU registers are not reset, they remain in the state in which they are. Uh, in my case, when pressing the reset button, I'm also reinitializing the CPU. So uh, this could be uh, commented out uh, for uh, having a simulation which is uh, more uh, uh, close to the real system. Uh, however, I placed uh, this initialization here because uh, in some cases when you play with um, various programs. Uh, I noticed uh, there may be some uh, hang of the simulation. 
so for this purpose this makes actually more sense but uh, as I said it's possible to comment out this and uh, see what happens and it will behave just like uh, the real system uh, of course uh, using the selected uh, uh, address uh, the front panel updates the internal variables that are being used to uh, show the LEDs and uh, uh, in addition it's uh, also possible to uh, pause the execution of the program so everything is uh, happening uh, here in this uh, stem method of the front panel and uh, that's pretty much everything uh, involved in the uh, front panel simulation so as usually thank you for watching please leave any comments and subscribe to the channel thank you and see you next time bye